Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Healing with Sep, Season 2. Yes, that is correct. We are back with another season. So I took some time off. Uh, I've made some projects on my films channel. I've got a couple of days to chill, so I thought I'd make some more of these. See if people are needing some help, some guidance. Now remember, I'm not a professional. I don't. I don't know the. I don't know the answers. I don't have all the answers. But I'm just a guy that cares. So. I'm going to tell you my side. So first of all, welcome back to season two, episode one, of Healing with Seb. This episode is called The Bounce. The best thing you can do in this life for anyone who is struggling, anyone who's really going through it, is catch them on the bounce. That quote changed something within me. I now have an idea of what that means. Catch someone on the bounce. Because everyone's there for you at the beginning. But then. Once they think. Oh right. It's time they move on. They stop being there for you. They leave you to it. Crack on. Catching someone on the bounce is quite easy. It's not the initial loss of a loved one. It's not the initial loss of of a job, the initial pain that reality sends someone reeling and spiralling downward. But it's the secondary pain. It's the bounce. It what it's what happens to them when they really have to sit there and stew in it by themselves. Now everyone is there for you. Everybody is there for you after the initial trauma, the initial loss, the initial hurt. But people tend to forget that it's all about the bounce that really sends someone into a whole lot of hurt. So if you really love somebody or care for somebody, make sure you catch them before the bounce. So what does the bounce mean for me? It's a hard one to think about. Because I've been there. People I know have been there. So what what needs to happen? People message you and people check in on you after the initial trauma, like I mentioned earlier, but... After a week? After two weeks? Nobody's, nobody's checking up on you. Nobody's messaging you. Nobody cares anymore. And if they do care, they just say they're giving you space. Now, in my opinion, that depends on who you are. It depends on who you are. Because I know that I wouldn't like it if everyone just suddenly disappeared. I wouldn't like it if I was left alone to fester in whatever pit I was thrown into. Of course I'd want somebody to check up on me. Of course I'd want that interaction. And that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about interaction. It's all about communication. It's a weird thing, this world to assume that you have to go through this on your own, through pain, suffering, trauma, on your own. But there's a silver lining. You don't. You have all the friends you need reach out 
And if you're one of those people who can't reach out, who doesn't want to reach out, doesn't want to be a bother, doesn't want to, I don't know, be annoying, you're not. And it's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. I know from from people around me that if I just say, but you're not being annoying, so just fucking message me and I'll help you out. I know for some people that's not an option. Because it's so ingrained in their mind that it doesn't work. But I know I know you're not alone. Everybody here has someone to care for them. Whether that is your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your siblings, your your grandparents, your uncles and nephews and nieces and aunts and your neighbour or your boss, or your colleagues, or your son or your daughter, or or your friends. Everyone has someone who's there for them. And if you don't believe that, then you've got me. You've got this lovely little page that does vlogs and Occasionally does vlogs and, and, and this little series and top tens and... Now, granted it's been a while since I've done any of that because I've been working on my films channel, but... I'm never really far away. And that's all you've got to remember. Nobody's that far away. All you have to do is take a leap of faith. That's all it is. One blind leap of faith. Step in the right direction. The bounce is the aftermath of pain and trauma. But you can get through it. I've seen it happen. And I'm ready to see it happen again. This this podcast is here to help people. I'm just a guy that cares. I'm not a professional. I don't know the answers. I don't have the answers. But I have a duty of care. And I care so deeply. To start being successful after a difficult period, after experiencing failure or loss of confidence or illness or unhappiness or pain and loss. Similarly with the bounce after pain, you should bounce back into where you want to be. If you adopt a positive attitude, it will change your perspective on failure. Why do we fall? Why do any of us fall? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. That's from the Batman. It's from Batman Begins. Christopher Nolan. Learning to pick ourselves up is a different kind of bounce. It's a positive one. Getting back to where we want to be. And that's what you need to do. Bounce back. 
That's it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you again next week.